Oh, can you hear me? Yeah. So I'm Willy. I'm going to talk about some uh, joint work with uh, Hotek and Daniel that we call laconic function evaluation. So a standard uh, problem at crypto is to have a general chair, say tau, that wants to distribute socks among, uh, socks among uh, attendees. The problem is that we're not happy with just picking socks. We want each of us to have the best sock available. So after years of research at IBM, they managed to uh, produce some algorithm, the best possible, to pick uh, the best sock for each of us. It turns out that the algorithm is pretty weird. Uh, first, the, um, yeah, uh, the input to the algorithm is the, sorry, is the dating history of the attendees. So it's pretty weird, but it turned out that this was the best option possible. And also, another problem was that the algorithm is actually extremely complicated. So it actually requires uh, IBM supercomputers to, uh, to run it. So only Tau can, uh, can run it. So first, she put uh, at the res uh, registration page, um, she asked every attendee to put the dating history, but for some reason, people didn't want to do that. So as cryptographer, how can we help? So we introduce a new primitive that we call laconic function evaluation, where uh, we have some private data, uh, X, and we want to, uh, to let tall compute f of x on our data. So using uh, laconic function evaluation, uh, tall can compress the huge algorithm into some short digest that can be seen as a public key for the function. And your regular uh, crypto attendee will be able to use this public key to generate a ciphertext of, the, uh, of its um, dating history. After that, Tau can recover the ciphertext, and using her uh, knowledge of the circuit, will be able to recover uh, the best socks, so she can put the order. So uh, that's nice, uh, but more formally, uh, what happens is that um, we want pretty much our um, primitive to only uh, to let Tau learn about f of x, and security means that she uh, only uh, uh, learns f of x and not the whole dating history. And uh, for the laconic part, as our uh, name suggests, we want the um, ciphertext to be succinct, in the sense that the encryption time should be smaller than the uh, set of the supercomputers. We are not at IBM. And we managed to construct such a primitive from LW. Uh, more seriously, uh, uh, an application I'm uh, pretty uh, excited about is uh, on MPC, where we have n parties with uh, input x1 up to xn, and uh, a uh, large function f. Um, uh, the, uh, the question is asked is whether we can compute um, uh, the, such a protocol to compute f of uh, the x line up to xn in time much less than the stock size of f. So that seems paradoxical at first because, well, you have to compute uh, the function at some point, but you actually manage to achieve something uh, somewhat similar where there's a uh, first an offline preprocessing phase. So for the picture above, uh, this consists in compressing the com uh, function f, and so everybody can do that offline. This is costly, but we don't care. Then there's an online phase where people compute the ciphertext. And as our laconic uh, property suggests, this is small. So the online complexity of the, of the protocol here, uh, of the part here, is small. And then people can individually decrypt the um, decrypt the ciphertext. So in the end, the, this just gives an MPC where the online communication is small. So that, I think, is pretty cool. So you can hear um, more about that on uh, the ePrint or catch either Hotek, Daniel, or me if you have any questions. Thanks for your attention. <laughs>